Can I run four ohm speakers with an eight ohm amp? All right, this comes from Andy in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I have some speakers that are rated at six ohms and an amplifier that's rated for eight ohms. Minimum, it says that above the speaker terminals, right? I know that I can fudge those numbers a little, but it made me wonder. If I want to use four ohm speakers with an amplifier that sternly warns me not to connect anything less than eight ohms, can I just add some resistors to the speakers to bring the total resistance up to eight and then run the system safely that way? What would happen if I did that? Is it likely to hurt the sound quality? Okay. Um, yes, you can do that. And you can, in fact, you probably don't even need the resistors. The 8 ohm warning on there is likely not going to damage the amplifier. I, I don't think I would overly, be overly concerned with hooking that 6 ohm speaker up. You're just going to have to be careful not to play it too loud because it's, you're, just, you're, you're going to run into some problems under any condition. Um, you see, the thing is, a high impedance driving a lower impedance will always cut the level down of voltage going out to it. You're going to lose some voltage, which means uh, loudness, right? Some loudness is going to go down. And it may draw more current than that amplifier is capable of giving at any decent volume level. So, yeah, it's going to be problematic to begin with, but it's worth a try. I really doubt you're going to hurt the amplifier. Adding resistors, so if you put like a 2 ohm resistor in series with a 6 ohm speaker, you'll raise that up. The downside to that is that you're going to, again, lose more volume and have to turn the amplifier up louder to make up for it. And the speaker will not be driven properly. So I don't know what kind of speaker this is, but speakers are dependent on having a fairly low impedance driving them because they are, their motor systems, their, their magnetic motor systems depend on having low impedances drive them properly in order to sound right. Now I suspect, and, and no, please, no offense, you know, meant here, I suspect this is a fairly low performance setup, an amplifier. So I'd just go for it. I would just hook those up and, and not worry too much about it. And just see what happens. And just be careful not to turn it up too loud. You can try the resistors. You're going to lose a little bit of sound quality, but you can certainly do that if you're overly concerned with hurting the amplifier. So I certainly don't want to damage anything. So yeah, you could do that, but it will just be aware that it's going to reduce the level coming out. And make sure you use some good wattage resistors because you're going to be dropping some watts. So I would probably have, oh, a 10 watt, 20 watt resistor. Yeah, 10 watts is probably good. You can find those like at partsexpress.com, Mattisound. Uh, look for uh, resistors in, the, in, the, uh, in those, those websites. And they have some decent resistors that'll be the size you want. So 10 watt, 2 ohm, give it a try. You're not going to hurt anything again. And, and it might just make you feel a little bit more comfortable playing that loudly. Okay, <laughs> thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.